Oba, and welcome back for another episode with Jack the Greek. What a time we have at the moment. More and more of us are cooking at home, and what a perfect opportunity to demonstrate how you can cook a beautiful chicken at home on the Crossway Barbecue. What we're gonna do today is cook a beautiful roast chicken with some potatoes, sweet potato and pumpkin, covered in olive oil, plenty of salt and pepper and lemon, complemented by a beautiful free range Lilydale chicken, thanks to our friend Betty and Dimitri from Preston Free Range Poultry and Game. Once again, thanks guys. Okay, we're back now, and let me show you how we're gonna prepare our chicken. It won't take long, it'll take a couple of minutes. I usually like to put it in a tray, just like that, and we're gonna keep it simple. Salt, pepper, oregano, and a bit of lemon. That's it. So, let's just go for it. We'll put our pepper, just like that. We'll turn it over as well. Plenty of pepper. Salt, it helps crisp up the skin. Opa, beautiful. I don't like over spicy my charcoal chicken. I like keeping it nice and simple. The Mediterranean one. Just like that. Opa. Plenty of salt inside as well. Opa, just in there. Some oregano. As we call it, Just like this. Put some inside it. Turn it over. And there we go as well. Beautiful. Just paste it on like that. We we'll wipe our hands so we can cut our lemon. Just like this. Opa. And just put a little bit of lemon on it like that. Opa. Now, you've asked, probably going to ask me, how are we going to put this on the crossroad barbecue? Well, we're going to use the rotisserie, like I mentioned earlier. So, what I'll show you now is how we put it on the on the rotisserie. You grab the rod, just like this, and you grab one of the, the spikes, and you put it somewhere around there. Because we're not gonna put it in the middle, we're gonna move it to the side, because we're gonna use our tray for our potatoes, our pumpkin, and our sweet potatoes. So keep that nice and tight. So let's move that forward, just like that. And we'll grab our chicken, and I'll just put it through, <laughs> like you can reach, eh? And we'll put it straight in, just like that. Offer. Push it in so it grabs. And you can see how all the way around, except the back, just there, it hasn't grabbed. So we're going to just adjust it a little bit to make sure that it grabs every single part of the chicken all the way around. We'll do the same thing with the top one and just bring in the legs just like this and push it down as much as we can. Opa, just like that. There we go. And tighten that up. Just like that. And that's all it is. Very simple, nice and easy. Give it a twirl and away we go. We've all done our chicken. We've put it onto our forks. We've got it nice and tight and we've put it to one side because obviously the other side, we're gonna have our tray. Let me show you how easy it is to put it on the Crossroad barbecue while it's even hot. We've had it on for about 10 minutes now. It's very warm here with all four burners on high. It's very simple, pass it in there. We put our little accessory there and our little screw there just to hold it in place so it doesn't move. We press our button just like this and it starts turning. So while that's going, we'll put the lid down and we'll prepare our potatoes. Again, very simple. Grab your tray just like this. Put this out of the way so you can see. Grab our potatoes. We've got a mix of potatoes, pumpkin and sweet potato. Mix it all together, just like that. Opa. Beautiful, plenty. That's enough. We don't need any more. We've got a beautiful olive oil. We'll put that on top, just like this. Ah, beautiful, just like that. We've got our lemon, squeeze our lemon in, just like that. Beautiful. There. Salt, can't forget our salt. Beautiful, just like that. Opa. Our pepper, not too much pepper on the potatoes, but we can't forget our oregano, our beautiful rigani. Just like that. Okay, we can give them a mix if you like, but I'm just gonna leave them as they are. I'm quite comfortable with that. You can see it hasn't taken us very much time at all. It took us around two, three minutes to prepare our chicken. Not even two minutes to prepare our a beautiful roasted vegetables, and now it's time to put in the crossroad barbecue. 
what we're going to do is we're going to cook it for about about an hour our beautiful chicken with all four burners on high at the same time we're going to have our potatoes in there we do expect it to cook on time and we do expect it to be all done within about an hour so we'll put it in just like that underneath the hood on the crossroad barbecue and we're back around half an hour's time to show you how it's going Opa. Opas, welcome back with Jack the Greek. It's been around half an hour now. Coming close and have a look and see how we're going. Opas, look at that. Look at our beautiful chicken boiling away, cooking, crisping up, and our beautiful potatoes over here. We'll bring our potatoes out. Just have a quick look. It is a bit hot, so you've got to be very, very careful when you grab it. And we'll just have a bit of a look here to see how things are going. Beautiful. Look at the potatoes. Excellent. Excellent. So we'll just move them around a little bit. Just give them a bit of a wobble, just like this. Ah, beautiful. The smells, the aromas, the spices, beautiful. Okay, so we'll put it back in. Let's put that back in just like this. And we'll close it down for another 25 minutes. Now, let me make a correction. You might have noticed, I've turned off a couple of my burners because after around half an hour, it got a little bit too hot and we don't want our chicken to dry. So to, to recap, first half an hour, we had all our burners on high. For the second half an hour, I will turn off two burners and I only let the two burners underneath the tray stay on, on low for another half an hour and it should be all ready to go. Opa. Okay, as you can see, you're back with Jack the Greek and what a beautiful, beautiful roasted golden brown chicken we have. And of course, we've got to thank Betty and Dimitri from Preston Free Range Poultry and Game for a beautiful free range chicken. Now, you can see the potatoes, they're all ready to go as well. It's been around 55 minutes that we've had it cooking on the Crossroad barbecue. The first thing we'll do is we'll take the chicken off. So let's be very careful here. But we're basically going to grab it from either side, just like that, and we'll take it off there and just put it on, on our chopping board, just like that. Opa. Now, it is very hot, so you're just going to be a little bit careful. We're going to take out the, the spikes that are holding the chicken in, just like that. Look at that. It's all falling apart. Beautiful. And what we'll do is we'll just sit it there. Underneath we'll put it here, just there. And then we'll turn it over and we'll grab the other side as well. Oh, look at that, beautiful. And we just push it off a bit. Ah, beautiful. There we go, look at that. Look at that beautiful chicken. Okay, so let's plate it up. We'll put our beautiful chicken, just like that, in the middle of our plate. We'll give it a bit of a wipe. And now we'll bring our beautiful potatoes. And of course, our sweet potatoes and our pumpkin. Turn off our crossroad barbecue and let's just plate up our chicken and our potatoes. Beautiful, just like this. So I'll use this time just to summarize. It was the first time I did cook a beautiful charcoal chicken on the crossroad barbecue. An estimated around an hour is what it would take me to cook it. It was around an hour, but not with all four burners on high. For the first 25 minutes, 30 minutes, I had all four burners on high, but then for the second half an hour, I had to turn two burners off. We didn't want to overcook our chicken, and we didn't want to dry it up. So we quickly put on our potatoes, just like this, all the way around. Just like that, beautiful. Opa. I can smell it. I can smell the beautiful chicken, the spices, the oregano, the lemon coming out, beautiful, just like that. We've now plated up our beautiful free range charcoal chicken with potatoes, sweet potato and pumpkin. We've cooked it on the Crossroad barbecue for around about an hour. Beautiful meal to cook at home and feed your family. With testing times like this, jump on Jack the Greek's Facebook page or YouTube channel for more beautiful cooking ideas you can cook at home with your family. Opa, I'm Jack the Great.